We do not pray to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But he is part of our prayer. We do not supplicate to him. But he is part of our supplication. And this is why in dua, it's related from Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anh. These are his words. It's not a hadith, but this is an athar. This is a saying of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anh. That a person's dua remains suspended between the heavens and earth until he sends salat and salam upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine a person's dua, a person's supplication and prayer to Allah remains suspended and remains hung between, the heaven, and, between heaven and earth until that person sends salat and salam upon the Prophet ﷺ. This is why it's always been part of the tradition of dua, that you praise Allah Azza wa Jal before you ask, and you also send salat and salam upon the Prophet ﷺ. Before you ask for yourself, before you make dua for yourself, and we have that in tashahud. At the end of salah, in tashahud, what does a person do? One first of all salutes and greets Allah Azza wa Jal. At tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibat. And then one greets the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alayka ayyuhun nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And then at the end of salah, before you make any dua such as رَبَّنَا ظَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا وَإِلْ لَمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا وَتَرْحَمْنَا لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Which is actually a prayer for forgiveness. It's a prayer of repentance. Whether one utters those words or any other dua for oneself, before that dua, what do we do? After mentioning Allah Azza wa Jalla and greeting and saluting Allah, we send salat and salam upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his family before making dua for ourselves at the end of salah. So, just as Umar radiallahu anhu said, a person's dua remains suspended between the heaven, between heaven and earth until that person sends salat and salam upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Part of the elevated mention of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, that as I said, we don't make dua to him, but he is part of our dua. We don't pray to him, but he is part of our prayer to Allah. We don't worship the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but he is part of our worship. In salah, even salatul janazah, in everyday salah, whether it's farad or nafl, we mention the name of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.